And the way we tend to move about in a single life, we can overlook the immediate environment. When you're married and have children, you are concerned if there's broken glass on the sidewalk. You are concerned if a pedophile is roaming loose in the neighborhood. You care about the quality of the school. And bigger than that, you want to invest money. You want to gain wealth so that you can pass it on. Because in your offspring is your immortality. So that is why I stand for the proposition that marriage is the base of power and we have been tricked by the children of our slave masters to pretend that we don't need each other. And if you notice in the, this celebrity driven society, where you have, and I, I love Oprah, I love all of my sisters um, who have achieved and are in the public eye, but you will notice that so many of our women who achieve in the professional world and achieve in entertainment and business, they do not marry. And they do not produce offspring. Mm -hmm. You know, the majority of them. Right. And so now they have given our, us, as black women, a new suggestion. And that suggestion is forget about him. He's right. in jail. He's on drugs. He don't have no education. He don't have no job. And so what you need to do is to look at other men, the mm -hmm. Asians, the uh, uh, Latinos, the white man. Y'all need to look at some other man because your man ain't nothing. It's done. That's right. And that's all an insult to us. We as black women need to become more warrior-like. And right. we need to defend our man and our children instead of letting our little frail egos get pumped up by them telling us that we are so great and we are so grand and we can do this and we have a better education and don't get with him if he don't have a good credit score. You know, they have set the agenda of our requirements for our man. We That's haven't right. set that agenda. They have set an agenda, and now it's unless he's got a good credit score, uh, then we can't be with him. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we have allowed people from other nationalities, and we have speckled our communities. You can't go into the Latino community or the Asian or the Ukrainian or the European community and see a lot of speckled colored children. Well, of course, you can a little bit more now than you could 20 years ago, but at that time you couldn't see that because they didn't allow all of that in their community. When you come into the black community in the same family, you may see four or five different colored children, different mm -hmm. uh, shades of eyes and hair and everything else mm -hmm. because we've just been with everybody. That You can't have a good reputation to other nationalities on other continents, if when they see pictures of us, they see that because everybody knows what that is. That means that the man and the woman that's the same that God gave to each other are not getting along. 